Well, I don't have a Sonic shirt, so Cookie Monster is going to have to do. Wow. Not cool, Tony. Not cool at all, dude. Hey there, everybody. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I am here to review Sonic the Hedgehog. And yes, I just got this guy finally recently. So Sonic the Hedgehog is directed by first-time director Jeff Fowler, and the film stars Ben Schwartz as the voice of Sonic, along with James Marsden, Jim Carrey, and Tika Sumter in their live-action roles. So Sonic the Hedgehog tells the story of Sonic, who doesn't really have anyone in his life, and he has these rings that can help him go to other worlds. However, when Dr. Robotnik is after Sonic, a sheriff named Tom must do everything he can to protect Sonic. So when it comes to Sonic the Hedgehog, the character, the world, the other characters, I can definitely say I'm a huge fan. Before I got into the PlayStations, the first ever console I played was the Sega console. I just have very fond memories of playing the Sonic games on there. And I actually do have some games out right here to show you very quick. For the PS3, I have Sonic Generations, Sonic Forces, really great game. Just for Christmas recently, I got the Sonic Mania Plus and a game I find under rated actually Sonic Unleashed. I really have a blast playing this game. And I have actually been wanting a Sonic movie my whole life. So live action was not what I had in mind. And when I saw the original design, Obviously, just like a lot of people, I was pretty horrified by it. And then, you know, news came forth that they were going to push this movie by a little bit just so they could redesign Sonic. And I'll just tell you right now, before I actually review the movie, that I do think redesigning it helps. Because after seeing this Sonic in his, in his true form, I just can't imagine watching these, this entire movie with that original design. As time went on, I was looking forward to the movie. I was rooting for this movie to be good. Coming out of this movie... I think it's fine. I think it's a cute movie, but I did leave feeling quite disappointed. But I could definitely say on the positive side, in my opinion, of course, this movie isn't terrible. It doesn't ruin the character. It doesn't disrespect the character. And that's something I could say straight off the bat that this is in no way trying to ruin Sonic or anything. This movie actually does try, and I do think, to be fair, it actually succeeds at respecting the character. And Ben Schwartz, who is the voice of Sonic, he does a really good job. He really brings so much energy to this character. You could tell he's having a lot of fun voicing this character, and I thought he was definitely the right guy. He definitely did a good job of really fitting that character and that's definitely thanks to Ben Schwartz just making him so likable and I already said it but visually Sonic does look really really good and you have James Marsden who plays the Sheriff Tom and I think he does a pretty good job and I think he and Sonic do have this nice little back and forth, it's pretty enjoyable. Tika Sumter is also in here too, and I think she does a pretty good job in this film. There were some jokes that worked for me, not really anything to laugh out loud for the most part at least, but there were some good gags in the movie that I did think were handled pretty well. There's some entertaining sequences within the movie. For example, Sonic has not just one, he has two quicksilver type moments. I will say the second time he does it was even cooler than the first time in my humble opinion. So those were very fun scenes right there. And I do have to say I know Jeff Fowler is a first time director but I actually have to say as far as the action sequences go uh, he did a really good job with the action. Like I'm not gonna lie the action was better than I honestly expected it to be. Like, I think it's better than competent, to be perfectly honest. So whenever the action is there in the movie, that is when I definitely had a lot of fun. Along with those two Sonic Quicksilver type of moments, the action scenes were definitely the scenes I had the most fun watching. It's also a very fast paced movie. I'll definitely give it that too. There's not a single moment that felt boring. I never felt like the movie dragged. I'll definitely give it credit. It's a very fast paced movie. And the cinematography I think looks really good too. I don't think this looks cheap in any sort of way. 
it definitely does have a budget. The movie does also have some heart, and that was expected going into it, obviously, but I did think some of the heartwarming moments we get in Sonic, I thought they were very well done. And I do have to say that Jim Carrey, I was saving the best for last. He is just such a delight to watch on screen. It is so nice to see Jim Carrey just being back to his goofy self. And I think the movie does a good job of not underusing him because I do think it could have fallen in that trap of underusing Jim Carrey. I think Jim Carrey just had the right amount of screen time. There is maybe a section where you don't see him for a little bit in the movie, but once he does show up again, things really kick into high gear. I can't deny that Jim Carrey brought a big smile to my face. Now, as much as I do wish I was more positive on this movie, there are flaws that do hold this back from being very, very entertaining. Like, it's entertaining, sure, but I can't say it's very, very entertaining to the point where I think it's a solid movie. And that's because, first off, I will say, the movie opens with a cliche that I honestly just cannot stand. And unfortunately, this movie did fall into the trap of opening with this cliche. I was personally not a fan of it. Not just that, the opening itself just felt so rushed. They were just speeding along the opening scene just so we can move on to Sonic and our world. And personally, I wish that they just spent more time developing Sonic's world before he got to our world. Although I will give him credit, it's definitely not your fish out of water story as much as you may be expecting going in just because Sonic is already aware of our world because the brief time we do see Sonic's world, it looks beautiful, but of course, as expected with these movies, we gotta focus on our world because just why not? The visual effects, they're a little bit noticeable at times. I won't say anything awful though, I'll definitely give them that, but there were times where I could notice the visuals just a little bit. And unfortunately, I think you all figured I was gonna say this as a negative, but to be honest, I did not think this was a very funny movie. It's a movie that entertained me. It got me through the time. I was never bored. But as far as the humor goes, I do think it falls flat. And I wish I was laughing more. It was just the execution of the humor that really didn't do it for me. Like I said, it does have its moments. A few moments that did admittedly make me laugh uh, pretty hard, but most of the time humor really wasn't working for me. Tika Sumter, while I did really enjoy her here, and I do think she does a pretty good job, the performances actually aren't too bad here in the film, but I do think her character just didn't really have enough to do. She was just kind of there. Also, when it comes to Jeff Fowler as a director, I actually don't think he does too bad of a job. I do think for a first time director, it's a step in the right direction for him. But I do think at times, the movie can feel a little all over the place as far as how he balances Tom and Sonic going on this road trip or when we cut to Dr. Robotnik attempting to go after Sonic. The way he does balance that sometimes, it can be a little all over the place. But like I said, I think as far as him as a director, he's definitely in the step in the right direction. But there's obviously room for improvement. Unfortunately, the storyline too is too basic for me. I can't really say I was all that into the story. Yes, Tom and Sonic, they have some nice back and forth with each other. And like I said, there were some really fun sequences within the action, but I don't think the storyline really held my attention. It was just kind of there. There was definitely potential for the story, but it's just too basic in my opinion. There's nothing wrong with basic storytelling. I have enjoyed movies that had very basic storytelling, but there would be something in there for it to elevate for me. If you all have seen my past movie reviews, I think you definitely know that. But just in the case of Sonic, there's just not really 
anything elevating that a whole lot for me to really go, oh yeah, the storyline is simple, but I'm enjoying it. And besides the story feeling very basic, it's also just a very predictable movie that feels very familiar to a lot of things that we've already seen in movies like this. Not that there's anything wrong with predictability. Like I said, I can get behind predictable moments if I'm really into the story, but in the case of Sonic, the predictability just really sticks out. The climax, although I did admittedly have fun with it, it did feel rushed in my opinion, and I wish there was more time for them to expend the climax a little bit. And to be honest, why does Sonic really need Tom? This hedgehog can run super super fast. This is something to be fair. He could have done all on his own rather than just having Tom drive him. Now I understand the whole protection thing but at the same time this is Sonic the Hedgehog we're talking about. I do think this is something Sonic could have done on his own but I know the movie needs kind of a reason because it does play the aspect of Sonic being lonely and making a friend so on that front I understand that but that was the whole thing to me really thinking back that didn't make sense to me. Overall Sonic the Hedgehog is cute but it did leave me feeling disappointed. I did wish I enjoyed this movie a lot more considering how much I love the character, considering how much I love this world, and I did see a lot of potential for this movie, but I don't think it ever quite reaches it. But that being said, I could definitely see the sequel being better depending where they go with the sequel. And yeah, stay for the mid credit scene because I did love that. That was really awesome right there. Made me very, very happy. But like I said before, Ben Schwartz is a lot of fun, as well as James Marsden and Jim Carrey, and there's some fun sequences, but apart from that, I just get an okay movie. And that's why I'm going to give Sonic the Hedgehog two and a half out of four stars. So everyone, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Sonic the Hedgehog? What is your favorite Sonic game? Have you played any of the games growing up? Have you watched any of the cartoons? Let me know all of that in the comments down below. Who's your favorite character in the Sonic world as well? I would say Sonic, the, the main character is my favorite character, but Tails I love as well. I do love Tails. So everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!